This is the seventh anniversary of the Moot Court competition. The human rights Moot Court has really grown over the seven years in quality, in prestige, and in, in, in general recognition. The court is in session. I will argue that Brancolia has violated its obligations of non refoulement law. We submit that this claim is admissible given the urgent need of the Altaitian refugees. We believe that there are compelling reasons why climate change refugees should be included under the Refugee Convention. Is it a human rights convention? I have some doubts on this. How are you in a position to persuade us, or how are you going to persuade us? The committee has stated in dicta that appealing to the highest court of a state would exhaust the domestic remedies. And it's an honor for me to appear before this court today pleading on behalf of the respondent. This case shall not be held admissible before this court. The state did fulfill its due diligence duty. Please tell us a bit more about specific measures that were taken by the state and in particular by law enforcement officials. Your Excellencies, respondent requests this court to a judging declare that the state of Broncolia has not violated any of the, the rights listed by the applicants. How would you determine in the present case those necessary limitation to the freedom of expression. Proselytism may be considered as protected speech. It was not just a criticism of the president. It was an accusation without proofs. You may step down. I think that all performances were really good. This is really clearly a demonstration of the commitment to human rights and to the actual essence of the discussions that we've had. I was really impressed by the degree of preparation and, and, and knowledge. It's a wonderful thing to see a combination of tremendous ability, skill, confidence communicated in a dignified, quiet, um, a gently persuasive way. The winning team of the 7th Nelson Mandela World Human Rights Mood Court competition is the team that argued the case for the respondent. We all are human rights activists. We have a collective responsibility to uphold, defend, and protect the values that we hold dear. The challenge will be for you who have the opportunity to participate in this competition to think about new ways to take the human rights project further, to think in terms of the opportunities that come with responsibilities and the recognition there of rights but also of duties May our actions here today contribute to underscoring our shared humanity and show our desire to move the world forward, onward, upwards with excellence, with fortitude and with magnanimity. Let us give a proud display of our commitment to a more just society and a fairer, more caring world.